Oh, Joseph. Oh, Lord. Yes, my lady? You're looking mighty fine tonight. Thank you, my lady. I think you'd look a lot finer over here with me. Please, mistress. We've been through this. Your husband has entrusted me with everything he owns. Everything except you. Let's keep it that way. Well, that's no fun. Why are you so thirsty? I mean, that's what happens when you go walking around looking like a tall glass of water. Well built. Handsome. I just want a sip. Sip? I mean, if it's a drink you want, I can get that for you. What you want? Esker? Naya? Just name it. Mmm, forget a sip. I was thinking of more going for a dive. Well, fortunately, we live in Egypt. We are surrounded by beautiful bodies of water, perfect for a swim. We got the River Nile. The Red Sea ain't too far from you. Joseph, I'm getting a little bit wary of your resistance. I'm getting a bit wary of your perfume. It's burning my nostrils. I think I'm allergic. The doctor said serious. Now, if you'd excuse me, I got work to do. Do you dare disobey your mistress? Oh, Lord, lady, why do such a wicked thing against your husband? And I could never do such a wicked thing against my God. Ugh, you bore me with your righteousness. Perhaps you just need a little push. Oh, oh, absolutely not. I am out of here. Did a slave just reject me? Me. Oh, Joseph. What a mistake you made today. Guards! You won't believe what this Hebrew just tried to do to me! Man, what? Oh. My dear, where are you? Where are you, my dear? What is the matter? <laughs> My dear, what is the matter? Oh, Potiphar, it's that slave of yours. Which slave? The handsome one. I mean, the Hebrew one. He tried to sleep with me. He what? And when I screamed, he ran. Look, he left his cloak right beside me. This can't be. Joseph, get here this instant. Yes, master, Joseph. After everything I've given to you. How could you do this to me? Master, I swear on my life, I did not touch her. So you're calling my wife a liar? I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it. Come on, Potiphar, you know me. Potiphar, don't let his beautiful brown eyes and soothing voice and impeccable biceps fool you. Are you seriously gonna listen to a slave over your own wife? Enough! Leave us. Joseph, you're the best servant I ever had. My house has never prospered as much as it has since you've been here. Look me in the eyes and tell me the truth. I didn't do it. My wife is right. I cannot believe a slave over her. Guards! Master, please! Throw him into prison! If you are telling the truth, and if your God is truly as just as you claim, then now's the time for him to prove it. Take him away. So be it. My God has never failed me yet. And I'm sure he won't start now. <laughs>